Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Jan and in this uh, video I want to make a little analysis again of the previous week of trading. Uh, let's see what kind of channels we could have uh, drawn last week and uh, how much pips you could make using the system. Uh, I was actually trading every day, just want to tell you a little bit. And uh, I was using of course my system plus um, someone sent me a little expert. And I've been um, actually testing it for about a month and I will continue testing to see how it will perform. It's using my system plus uh, it's using trailing stop. And uh, so I can try it and see if it would work. Maybe uh, we can organize something and uh, make an agreement of uh, maybe I will be able to uh, give it to you guys to trade. But uh, right now it's all testing so I don't know how it's going to continue uh, performing. But um, Let's start from, of course, 6th of October. That's the beginning of the week. And uh, as usual, uh, we could have drawn the channel, which was based on the previous um, day. And the market didn't jump, so it was quite opening of the week. And so I could have drawn the channel again. So you can see that the um, upper line was um, kind of based on these little um, candles, which you can see um, So after midnight. This was very narrow one, so I couldn't you really use this little channel. So that's why I was using the previous day one, and I just draw the top of the channel on mostly on the candles of uh, the next day. Uh, so that day could have bring you um, ten pips uh, plus extra twenty pips uh, using the trading stop, and also it could have make additionally seventy pips if uh, you would be using Fibonacci lines. Uh, which, of course, I'll try uh, actually this week to make the video about Fibonacci lines. Uh, it's going to be a very long video. That's why I have to really <laughs> prepare for that video, like um, to make it more understandable for you, because I'm sure you're going to have lots of questions because uh, it's a bit complicated to explain the Fibonacci lines, but I really hope to uh, to do it this week for you guys. So let's see uh, what was happening next day. Uh, 7 October. Uh, I actually missed the trade uh, using the just system, but I, I think I did a trade with uh, the little robot. Um, and um, so what happened here is that you can see the previous day, uh, the, the whole day uh, market was going up and at the end of the day it started to come down and uh, it was creating the channel as usual. But uh, it started to move right um, after midnight again and, um, and you know usually I try to watch after midnight and put my trades before 2 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning and uh, maximum 6 o'clock in the morning so that was a little bit early move so I didn't uh, go into this trade, not a uh, manual trade <laughs> say. So this would have been just uh, really no profit, no loss day so just nothing that day so let's say we just um, miss missed it. Uh, next day October the 8th and uh, as you can see we actually had a, a little channel here, was forming a channel uh, but uh, in the evening we had some news and uh, I was waiting for the news and because the evening news I don't usually put uh, the morning trades and I don't look for the channel before uh, the evening news that day which again after a video about FIBA lines I will be making a video about uh, news trading and explaining how I trade and what I do uh, when uh, we have two types of news. Uh, it's uh, the morning news and uh, evening news. It's a bit different. Uh, so on that news, I actually made profit. I made um, around 30 pips, uh, but uh, you could have just made 10 pips. It depends again uh, how you would trade. But I could, I could, I made um, 10, between 10 to 30 pips. So, um, the other day is uh, 9th of October again. And uh, what we have here, just a little bit down, that's it. Uh, also, uh, as you can see, after the news, as usual, the market started to uh, come down. And uh, actually create kind of the channel. As you can see, we, we have... Um, quite good bodies of the candles, but I say, uh, and after one o'clock, uh, it's still kind of channel, and uh, so we could have, we could make profit, I, I traded that day, manually traded, and I made 10 pips, as you see, 
but uh, this channel is quite hard so I would say it's a little bit risky so uh, if for example you uh, would have uh, at uh, the start of this using a system you probably would have been uh, you might not even see that it's a channel or it would be a little bit risky to trade it uh, so you say you might wouldn't make this day anything no profit again or you could have made 10 pips profit that day and um, on the 10th of October uh, we also had uh, the channel after 6 o'clock it started to form the channel the market uh, but again you can see after about 1 o'clock after about midnight yep about around 1 o'clock we started to move and uh, again uh, we didn't I didn't trade this day because uh, the market even before 2 o'clock it didn't return so it's already made the move up and it never come back into our channel which was forming here so this day uh, was uh, also no trade day so roughly let's say uh, if we would look back through the week we could have made around um, well let's say if it would have been just 10 pips uh, so it could have been 10 20 uh, let's say we missed that day 20 it's about 20 30 pips and also using trailing stop and fever we could have made 70 uh, 100 110 around 110 pips profit there that week and no uh, losing trades at all so I would say it wasn't too bad but not as good as uh, the week before uh, but still it was a profitable week so let's say that so um, here we go uh, once again it's uh, Euro USD it's uh, MT4 I'm using and uh, my brokerage is Tallinnx also uh, it's a 15 minute chart and um, always remember that Forex is a very risky um, opportunity <laughs> it's an opportunity to make money but also you can lose money so never trade uh, any money you actually worried to lose so um, be careful and never uh, risk a huge percentage of your um, account only risk between one to three percent no more so always remember it's a very uh, risky um, uh, thing <laughs> okay so uh, here we are thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe because there will be some uh, more videos uh, finally about FIBA and then uh, there will be video about uh, news trading um, bye everyone